Hey everybody. Hello, welcome, come on in, say hi. There we go. All right, so if you have any problems seeing anything, let me know. Hello from Texas. So here's the sign that I'm gonna use. I also have this mesh here, which is an orange and a moss green. So we'll be using that. This is a 21 inch and it came from Carolina Pottery. So that's something that we have here. It's not in, um, they don't have it, in, it's not nationwide. So um, they have it in a couple of states, but that's mostly out here on the East Coast. Actually, they're all out here on the East Coast. Anyway, we're gonna use this 10 inch uh, green for ruffles, which we'll is cut at 20 inches. And then we're gonna use some orange um, 10 inch uh, for curls. So I've got those, and those are not all bundled because I'm only using the orange. And then, of course, I have a bow that I did not get finished. So we'll finish that, fluffing that up when I get to that part. I've also got my tubing here. I have some orange, and then I have some uh, jute that I've had for quite a while, actually. Probably a couple years since I started. I have a little bit of this left. Thought I would go ahead and use it because I like this moss green, so it'll go real well. So we're gonna use that. And then for ribbons, I have a moss green. If you haven't gotten this moss green from Hobby Lobby yet, it's a one and a half inch, go get it. It's beautiful and I love this. I'm going to get some more of it. I might stop by there tomorrow because I'll be over that way. And then um, I'm gonna use the natural that has all the different shaped pumpkins on it. All my ribbons are cut at 14 inches. We're gonna use a, just a natural one and a half. And that's going to go with our two and a half orange. And again, these are all cut at 14 inches. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I really do appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind sharing this with your friends, that would be a great big help to me. They don't uh, put the share button on here for us to do it anymore, so we have to rely on everybody else to do it for us. So... And then I also have these little pumpkins that I got uh, last year. They're fabric pumpkins. Um, I got them at one of the stores, the Christmas tree store. So we're going to use those two. And I didn't have a third one, but I did have this fabric covered uh, foam one. It's got something on it. So I don't know if it's going to go real well with it. The color is a little off, but that's all right. Um, we'll see if it works when we get there. So that's what we're using tonight, guys. All right, let me get all this out of the way here. And I'll go ahead and get started on my poofs. I'm doing poof, ruffle, and curl tonight. I have a 14-inch frame from um, the Dollar Tree. That's what I prefer to use. You can use any kind of frame you like. Hello, everybody. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. All right, so this came from Carolina Pottery, like I said. Um, they do have something similar to it at um, Hobby Lobby. And it's not a very thick mesh. I'm going to cut some of this off because it's already fraying at the end. There we go. Get rid of that. Hello, everybody. Welcome. If you're new, come in. Say hello. If this is your first time here, my name is Dawn. This is Reek Decor by Dawn. I welcome you in. Come in. Say hello. And tell me where you're from if you're new. Everyone here is very nice and friendly. All right, so I'm zip tying my end down. I like to zip tie them down. Get my little tool out here. If you have any trouble seeing, let me know. All right. I can adjust the camera there. I see what you see, but sometimes I tend to pull things towards me or away from me and would not realize that y'all can't see. So let me know if you can't see anything. How's everybody doing tonight? Hello, welcome. Hey, hey. All right, I like to do 12 inch poops. So that's what I'm going to do. Looks perfect. Thank you. Yes, thank you for joining us. 
Susan is here to help out with any questions I might miss, so thank her for doing that. So what's going on, everybody? We just found out that we are still going to stay in phase two of the reopening phase for another five weeks. Not looking forward to that, but it is what it is. Boy, they got a lot of those bring them on camera with you things now, huh? wonder how they determine who you can bring on camera and who you can't, because not everybody's got it next to their name. Something new from Facebook, I'm sure. I live in North Carolina. I live in the eastern part of the state, near in the southeastern part near uh, Fort Bragg. Yeah, we're still in phase two. I don't think we're ever going to get out of it. They just extended it another five weeks. We just went from four weeks, finished up four weeks, now we got to do another five. Um, I forgot what I was doing. Oh. 12 inches. <laughs> hey there. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Y'all, I said I was going to um, put the con or the uh, giveaway up to the um, by, well, I said I was going to do it over the weekend. Um, but I had a little um, issue finding the um, ribbon assortment box that I wanted. So I didn't get it done over the weekend, but I will get it done this week. Um, I did find another uh, ribbon assortment. Um, I want the one that I found originally was just an, a bunch of all natural colors, um, and I wanted something a little different than that to give away. If you're not familiar with um, what I'm talking about, um, my page reached 5,000 followers recently, and to celebrate, I'm going to be doing a giveaway, and one of the prizes is a ribbon assortment box. But I did find another one today that's full of uh, fall ribbons that I thought would be nice. Hey, Jean Bunker, how are you? Um, I don't know why, to be honest with you. Um, I really don't. I didn't watch the news conference. I only saw the headline after. Um, so I have to go back and find out why we're, we're doing it, which... I don't know. It, it doesn't make sense that we're opening up all these other things, but certain businesses can't open. And anyway, it, it's a whole issue. <laughs> you don't want me to get started on that. I try not to talk about stuff like that um, on here and in public. <laughs> but yeah, we're we're in phase two for another five weeks now, so. I'm great. How are you? Yeah, I just, I don't know. I wish they would just open it back up, but that's my opinion. Not everybody agrees with me, so. I'll just keep that to myself. Hello. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I hope you're all doing well. We have some cooler temperatures now since that hurricane came and went. We're down into the 80s, which is a little bit cooler. I still got the humidity, but at least the temperatures are a little cooler. Um, I was going to say, if we can get, we get up to 100 tonight, maybe I'll do a giveaway. 
I have a ribbon and a sign sitting over here. It's a summer one, but somebody could use that. That's how I am. Don't get me started. It, it doesn't do me any good anyway. I mean, I understand, but, um, yeah, it, it's, I understand that what the effects of it are and what people are going through. I get that, but I'm just going to leave it at that. All right, I'm going to transition down to the bottom. I'm going to pull this straight down right in front of that tie below it. And I'm going to zip tie it to the frame there. I like to get it a nice clean start there. Yeah, craft stores have been open for quite a while in our area. Welcome, 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 everybody. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. If you're new here, tell us where you're from. My name is Dawn. This is Wreath Decor by Dawn. If you've not watched me before, welcome. We hope you'll join us again every week, 8 p.m. Eastern on Wednesdays. And for the last couple of weeks, I've been going live on uh, Friday afternoons as well. So if you can't catch me on Wednesday evenings, come and check it out on uh, Fridays around 2 o'clock, 2.30. I always post it in my page. Um, this mesh came from Carolina Pottery, which is a store we have here. I don't know what state everybody's in, but they're only in certain states here in the East Coast. Um, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Georgia. Hello, Kansas. Welcome, and thank you for joining me. But they do have a similar mesh. It's it. I don't think it's the green. I think it's a brown and orange. Um, Hobby Lobby carries it. I've used it before, so it's very similar to this one. Yeah. They're, they're always having a sale. Ours isn't a very big store, so ours doesn't have a whole lot, our Joann's. You still have time for trouble? I don't know what that means. I might have missed a comment. I do go back and read all my comments after my live, answer any questions that y'all have, even if I've answered them on here, because I don't remember what I've answered and haven't, so. But I do go back and answer, so. And if y'all wouldn't mind giving my page a like, I would really appreciate that. Follow along with me. I also have Instagram, YouTube. All my videos are um, posted on YouTube. Hello, welcome. If this mesh was just a little bit thicker, it'd be perfect. But we're going to put a bunch of stuff on top of it, so we're okay with that. But... To use it by itself, no, I wouldn't do that. But then do we ever just put mesh on and not put anything else on it? <laughs> I don't think any of us know how to do that. That's a great deal. Yeah, I haven't been this week. Um, I didn't go out on Monday, which is my regular shopping day. Um, because we were supposed to have that hurricane and then it wasn't as bad here in our area as they said it was going to be. So I ended up not going out. I didn't want to chance it. It was supposed to rain all day Monday and then we didn't even have rain until like 5 o'clock.
How do I keep the bottom from turning downward? Um, it all has to do with the way you put your ties in, if you're making your own, um, and where you put your poofs. Exactly. Load that wreath up. Put everything and anything on it, right? Everything but the kitchen sink. I put the, um, when I put my ties on, I put the um, twist at the top of the uh, wire that I'm putting it on. My day was uh, okay. I had to. Um, I took my mom to get her hair cut, and then we went and she got her nails done. I got my toes done. We do that every month. And then tomorrow I have to take her to um, the eye doctor, so I have to go out again tomorrow. keep forgetting what's really weird is I do 12 inch poofs all the time it's all I ever do why do I have to second guess what I'm doing here I don't know my brain's not working I guess yes my son was in a really bad car well really bad to me car accident um, on um, Monday was it Monday God seems like it was yeah it was Monday today's Wednesday my day yeah it was Monday okay Whatever. Anyway, him and the baby were in the car. Thankfully, neither of them were um, injured. My son is a little sore, but they're both okay. The car is totaled. If you uh, follow my personal page, there's pictures on there of the accident or the car. Thankfully, no one else was involved. But they are okay. A little shaken up, but they're okay. Yeah, it was, I, yeah, you saw that. It was very scary. Unfortunately, that is the second time my son has been in an accident like that. When we lived in New York, he was a passenger in a van that got rear-ended by a dump truck. And it just demolished that van in the back end. Thankfully... They were okay. I mean, he has some back problems because of that one, but yes, we do thank the Lord that he's okay, that they're both okay. Definitely. They had some angels watching over them, I'm telling you. Okay, there's our base. I'm going to cut this off, pull out a couple of inches here before I cut it. I'm just going to give it a straight cut. Um, because I use 12 inch poofs, there's not really enough there to do another wreath. Um, but I can use it for other things. So I take this and um, zip tie it to the frame. Yeah, it was pretty bad. It actually tore the... Um, the passenger side door off of the car. So that was scary. All right, my fingers don't want to work. I'm sure it is, Josh. I'm sure it is with the problems you already had. Sure, it didn't help. All right, there is our base. Not too bad, right? All right. So if you just joined or you weren't here at the very beginning, let me show you a recap of what we're gonna do. All right. Here is our sign. It's got the pumpkins on it. it says welcome. It's got that nice natural looking wood background to it. And then we're going to do 20 inch ruffles. And then we'll do um, some 10 inch curls. 
Then I have some tubing to put in. We have a bow to put in. And also um, I have some pumpkins here. These are fabric pumpkins that I got at the Christmas tree store. So I have two little ones and then because they didn't have a third in this color, um, I do have this one here. So, How did, ask that question again, Carol, what? How did what? How did it happen? Uh, he was trying to avoid hitting a deer and he crashed into um, a bridge. If that's what you were asking me, I'm sorry. All right, so these are 20 inch ruffles. The sign, um, I got that mine from Carolina Pottery, but they do sell them on Craft Outlet and um, all the other craft places. I've seen it on there. We're just doing a regular ruffle here with this green. I wanna bring the green and the uh, sign out, the stems here. These are all green, the leaves, so we wanna pull that out. So we're gonna use this green here. Thank you all for sharing. I really appreciate that for being for you being here as well. Were you at Carolina Pottery? Which one do you go to, Courtney? Um, the, yes, the green mesh is 10 inches, and I cut it at 20 inches for my ruffles. And the orange is also a 10 inch and I cut those for 10 inch curls. And I'm gonna alternate those, so I'm gonna skip and do every other ruffle. They are very dangerous. They say it's better to just hit it and not avoid it. It's more dangerous to try to avoid the deer or animal than it is um, if you just hit it. You go to Mer yeah, we're gonna go to the Myrtle Beach one next month. Um, and the Columbia one, I used to go that to that one when I'd visit my daughter. She used to live right there in Columbia. Um, and I would go to that one. That's their, um, that's their flagship store there. We um, have one here in North Carolina that is in Smithfield. And that's where I went. But I'm gonna go to the Myrtle Beach one next month. I'm excited to see how big that one is. I keep hearing it's really big. Of course, the one we have here in North Carolina is pretty big to me because I've I compared to the one in Columbia. Ours was is a lot bigger than that one. Oh no. That's gotta be scary, Carmen. She said that the first accident she was with her boyfriend at the time. The brakes weren't working. Couldn't steer the car. Oh man, hit a pothole. Oh wow. It's a whole shopping mall size. Oh, I can't wait for that. <laughs> I put 18 pipe cleaners on my, um, my frame. I put 10 on the top, or sorry, 10 on the bottom, eight on the top. I spaced them out about four and a half inches apart. And my poofs are 12 inches. Oh, wow. Face hit the dashboard and crushed your cheek and your leg was all cut up. Wow. Yeah, that's car accidents are very dangerous, of course. But we're very thankful that they are okay. That's all that's important. The car, you know, the car is just a thing. Can be replaced. Can't replace people. I just tuck my end in when I do the ruffle to kind of help with the frame. You know, all mesh frays. There's not anything you can do about it. No matter how you cut it, 
or what you cut it with, it's going to fray. And actually, we're really the only ones that even notice the fraying. I don't think um, everyday customers even pay any attention to it, at least not in my experience. Sherry, did you get your packages yet? I didn't look today to see if anybody, any of the packages were still out for shipping, I mean for delivery. Oh, telephone pole head on. Man. Cars are very dangerous. <laughs> My pipe cleaners are just the regular size pipe cleaners. Um, I believe they're 12 inches. So I will be doing my giveaway, so I want you all to be looking out for that. I promise it will get done this week. Like I said, I was just, um, I didn't get it done earlier because I, the place that I wanted to get the ribbon box from, um, I wasn't happy with the, the box that they had, and they only had that one box. So I had to do a little research and find somewhere else that had them. Oh, good. You got them. Oh, all right. Great. Um... But if, like I said, if you're new to my page, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I reached 5,000 followers. So one of the prizes is a ribbon box, which is a 12 assortment of ribbon, 12 roll assortment of ribbon. They'll probably all be the same size, two and a half or one and a half. And um, I'm also giving away a bow maker. And we're going to give away... Um, I'm either going to give away the signs or I'm going to give away a gift card to buy the signs from uh, personally yours. So I haven't decided if I'm going to go ahead and pick the signs or if I'm thinking more about um, letting you all pick whoever wins it. Let them pick what they want rather than me pick signs for them. So I don't know. Um, I'll figure that out too before I get everything Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, the, the millimeter size, the, the thickness of them, you can get different sizes. But I've never seen them come in, in different sizes as far as length. But yeah, there are different uh, thicknesses of pipe cleaners. Some of them are very thin. But then you have some that are, are really good. The ones you get from Hobby Lobby, those are the, the good thick ones. I like those. I've got the ones you get at the dollar store or Walmart. Those tend to be really thin. They don't have as much of the material around them as they, uh, around the wire as they do at Hobby Lobby. So yeah, I will get that done. Yeah, personally yours. I love her signs. I've been buying them since I started doing this. Um, m probably 90% of my signs are from her. So I was thinking I'm going to do that. Um, I already got her permission to use her name in the drawing. I don't like doing that without asking first. So I sent her a message and said, hey, I'm going to do a giveaway. Would you mind if I use your name um, in the promotion of it? So she said, yes, that would be good. But there were a couple of signs I thought about going ahead and getting and giving away those. But then I thought, you know, the more I thought about it, I thought maybe they'd like to, to pick whatever signs they'd like, you know, because I don't know what everybody's working on. Oh, no. Um, there's, there's usually plenty of pipe cleaner. Yeah, I twist them. I tend to twist them three times. I don't open them back up to put um, each layer in either. But I usually have plenty on there. Sometimes it'll get really close to the end, but usually there's plenty there for me. I get those nice and tight. <clears throat> 
For the signs, it's called plywreathsigns.com. P is in Paul, L is in Lee, Y is in your wreathsigns.com. All right, there's all of our ruffles. Now in all the other ones, I'm gonna put in a curl. And I'm just doing one curl. Um, I really should use my thing here. My hands do not cooperate. I have trouble with my hands, so I use this dowel. And I got it from Walmart. You can get them in a pack of three or four. I'm not sure which it is. Um, and I just use it to help me make my curls because I do have problems with my hands. Yes, the snow owl is pretty. Did you see the one she put up today? She put up another one today. Yeah, I have an order um, on my computer right now that I need to put in, but I think I'm going to do it at the wreath shop. <laughs> they have uh, more of what I need. I'm looking for a specific roll of ribbon, and everybody's sold out of it, and it's kind of making me mad that I can't find it. But I should have known better. I should have ordered more earlier in the season. I know that now. Hey, Carla. But it's an orange ribbon that I need, and nobody has it. So if anyone is interested, Miss Susan and Miss Carla and I have a design group. It's called Team of Dreams Design Group. It's $14.99 a month for three designers. Twice a week we meet. We do all of our design group um, classes on Zoom so that you all can join in with us. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to look for the D-Stash and then um, I'm going to ask in a couple of groups. I had... Um, Recently, I needed um, to find something, and I asked in one of my groups, and a couple people had what I was looking for. Um, but we do have our design group. Like I said, $14.99 a month, twice a week. Three designers. We rotate. Um, I just did um, Monday. So on Friday, Susan will be up. If you haven't... Um, yeah, Ranch House, too. Yeah, I just got a um, subscription box from them yesterday, or Monday, and I opened it um, on a live. So if you want to see that, that should be on my Facebook page for you, for you to look at. Yeah, I usually end up going through the whole list of, of the supply of people online, like Waterman's Loft and Deco Exchange and Craft Outlet and all them. But we would love for you to come and check out our group. Several of our members are on here. If you're interested in that, just type in the word group and I will send you the information after the live. I will send it to you private message um, so that you can get that and check it out. I also um, have an email list if y'all are new and want to get alerts when I go live. Just type in the word email. You don't have to put your email in. Just type the word email in the comments and I'll send you the link to sign up after the live. It's easier than trying to put all those links in the, in the description in that. So it's just easier if I send it to whoever wants it. To find a D-Stash group, just go on Facebook um, in the search, type in D-Stash, and you'll probably get a whole bunch of groups that come up. And it's just people that are trying to get rid of their stuff. But yeah, just type in either the word group or the word email, and I will send you those links. And I also have a list of all of my tools and supplies. If anyone's interested in that, just type in supply list and I will send you a link for that as well. 
I'll show them again in a second. We're getting ready to put them on here in one second. So my orange and green uh, mesh came from Craft Outlet. The base mesh, the 21 inch mesh came from um, the base mesh came from Carolina Pottery, which is a store that we have here on the East Coast. North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Virginia are the only states that have them or have one, I should say. We only have one here in North Carolina. South Carolina has two. They have one in Columbia and one in Myrtle Beach. But like I said, Hobby Lobby does have something similar to this base mesh in their store. You can also join our free community page if you want to share your lives or your pictures of your stuff you can do that in that group it's called fab fine community all right so there's our base all right here's the ribbons i'm going to be using um the base i'm using is a dollar tree uh 14 inch frame uh, that's all i use 14 inch dollar tree frames <clears throat> i don't have anything against the other ones i just when i started this is what i uh, started out with making my own so I just prefer to do it that way. All right, so we have this one and a half inch moss green. This is from Hobby Lobby. I suggest you get some of this. It's a very pretty moss green um, ribbon. I'm gonna go get me some more of it. I have this one here um, that has the different shaped pumpkins. It's got a natural background. We're gonna use those two together. Sorry if I'm holding them too close to the camera. I just realized that I have a natural beige, whatever you want to call it. That's a one and a half. That's going to go with the two and a half inch orange. And these are cut at 14 inches. I like 14 inches. So I'm going to put my green with my pumpkins. And my natural color or tan beige with the um, orange. Dollar Tree frames, order them online. You can order them by the case. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's $24. You can have it sent to your local store and they don't charge you shipping. Um, and that's how most people get them. That if you, if you want to use, I, I use a lot of them, so I order them by the case. They also have um, other frames that you can get, too, if you order them online, if you're not able to find them in your store. All right, so the green and pumpkin, I'm going to put in the orange curls. I want my pumpkins to go this direction. I love this pumpkin ribbon, too. I bought a whole mess of them. They had them um, at Carolina Pottery, so I bought... I think four or five rolls of it then. Um, I'm not positive about Canada. I would think they would. Yeah, you can get the eight inch, which actually comes with two eight inch frames for, um, so you're getting two for a dollar. But yeah, I would check, but I don't see why they wouldn't. But that's just me. I would think they would. Don't do that. If y'all wouldn't mind sharing this, I would really appreciate it. Give my page a like and a follow. It'll keep you up to date with everything I'm doing. And it will also help you find the um, giveaway when I get that set up so that you can enter that.
So we're pretty excited about that 5,000 followers. Thank you, I appreciate that. Carla, did you do Zoom tonight? Sorry I wasn't able to be there if you did. Yeah. And I'm not really f trying to get these ribbons um, fluffed out just yet because I am going to go back and put in um, tubing which I probably could have done while I was doing this, but didn't think about it till right this second. You did a, oh, a fall ladder? Oh man, I'll have to go back and check it out. Y'all, I still have two of my Halloween wreath kits available if anyone's interested in a kit. I have two of them left. Trying to get rid of them so I can order my fall kit. Get that going. I know, Wednesday is a bad night. Everybody going live and then group and... It all seems to happen at the same time. Thank you. You know what? I have um, a video, Carmen, on my YouTube that shows you how I attach and where I attach my um, cl pipe cleaners to my frame when I'm doing it. I didn't see your whole comment, but I did see that part. Yeah, for the 18 pipe cleaners. Um, but I do have a video that shows you how I do it. You're not late. You're never late. Nobody's ever late when they get here. I'm just thankful that y'all come. Don't ever be sorry for being late because you're not late. We usually do our virtual drinking on Wednesday nights. Our bartender has been awfully busy lately, so we haven't really done it for a while. But if you have a drink, take a drink. Doesn't matter what it is. Glass of milk, glass of water, Kool-Aid, soda, or an alcoholic beverage. Take a drink. I'm going to take a drink, too, right now. <laughs> yeah, it'll say um, on the description of the, um, or the title for it, it tells you that it's how to do a, a work, your, how to make your own um, work frame. It's not very long. It's only about seven, eight minutes long. Iced tea for you. There you go. Have a drink. See, virtual drinking you could do because, one, there's no alcohol. You don't have to worry about the hangover. You don't have to worry about drinking and driving. Only commenting and driving or commenting and drinking. <laughs> Sorry. There you got it all. Did you get the baby bottle too? Yep. Cindy always includes the baby bottle. <laughs> My daughter usually does it for me, but she has been really busy lately. 
her job is keeping her really busy. On top of that, she has five kids and she just moved, so poor thing. I think you got them all, Susan. And if y'all haven't already, if you don't know who Susan and Carla are, check out their pages. Susan is AC Inspired Wreaths. She does her lives on Saturday. And Miss Carla is from the One Stop Boutique. She does her lives, well, normally she does them on Wednesday evenings, but lately she hasn't been able to do that, so we're going to find her another night she can do it, or another time. There you go. Carla, you need that drink. Somebody give that girl a drink. Her kids just started distance learning. I've noticed some of the schools in California started today. Or this week. I don't know if it was today, but ours don't start here until the next week, week after. I'm not sure. I don't know. It used to be the end of the month, but I don't know how they're doing it now. Hello, Gail. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight. I really do appreciate it. I know you guys have your choice of what you could be doing tonight, but you're here, and I appreciate that, and I thank you. That's right. Pick a drink. Pick a drink. <laughs> but if anybody's interested in my last two wreath kits for Halloween, let me know, and I'll show them to you. They are, um, oh, I just did that one. They are um, the Argyle Happy Halloween sign. And you get everything in the kit to make your wreath. No, I wouldn't either. No, I, I would not want to be going to school right now either. I wouldn't want to be a parent having to teach the kids either. I don't, I don't have the patience for that stuff. I'm sorry. I don't know how teachers do it, let alone parents do it, but hello. Thank you for joining me tonight, guys. Welcome, welcome. You just found me. Well, I'm glad you did. Thank you. If you're new here, my name is Dawn. This is Wreath Decor by Dawn. We meet every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, right here, for some virtual drinking and... Wreath making. And if y'all like, um, or use some, um, YouTube, I would love it if you would follow my channel over there. Give it a subscribe. Everything I do on Facebook, all my videos, I post them over, I edit them and then post them over on YouTube. So you get a more condensed version of this live over there. And I post other things over there like... Anytime I go do, uh, you know, a shopping trip or a box opening or something like that, I put that over there as well. I have not been doing any lives over there, but hopefully I'll figure that out soon. Well, welcome from Virginia. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you weren't affected by that storm that we had. Thankfully, our area was not hit the way they thought it was going to be. All right, all the ribbons are in. Now I'm going to put in my tubing. I cut these at 24 inches because that's the size of my mat. No other reason than that. 
And I have the orange. It's more of a golden orange, I guess, or a yellow orange. I don't know. Looks kind of light to me. But anyway, 24 inches. Put the two of them together. I fold them in half. One is a jute. The other is just a regular flex tubing. Fold them in half again. Pinch them in the middle. Give them a twist. And then stick them in your tie. That's what I do. And I'm at the end of my tie. And I'm not putting anything else in here. So I'm going to tie this off. And I'm going to clip it. And fold that down. Once I get done with my wreath, I do go back and fluff out all my ribbons. Because they're not going to stay fluffed out when I keep working on it. So I'm not going to keep wasting time going and fluffing everything out. So I do that all afterwards. So we're just going to keep putting these in real quick. Fold them in half. Fold them in half. Pinch. Twist. Put them in the tie. And I have a love for tubing. Some would say an obsession. I call it a healthy obsession. Because who doesn't love tubing? Why wouldn't you love tubing? I know a lot of people don't use it very much anymore, but I do. Yep, all my social media is Read the Core by Dawn. So you can find me at any of those by putting that name in. I do have an Etsy shop. If you're interested in taking a look at that, you can get to that by going to www.reathdecorbydawn.com. just something about this moss green color with the orange, don't you think? This one's got the wire sticking up, so I'm just going to use my pliers here to crimp it down. I don't want anybody getting poked by that. Sometimes those wires, when you cut them, they poke up. Yes, thank you guys for joining me tonight. I do too. I love these colors. Another one, another color that I'm obsessed with that I love this year is the orange and navy. I saw that the other day, and boy, I'll tell you, that really looks pretty together. I haven't done a wreath with them yet, but I'm thinking about ordering me some navy colors. And, of course, the navy blue is popular this year. The blue is very popular this year. It does. Have that little bit of orange peeking out of there. Explain what? What tuning is? Tubing. Flex tubing. I'll show you here in just one second. Flex tubing is like a, a little thin ribbon. This one is a jute ribbon and it's like a rope. Not quite as... Um, tightly wound as a, uh, a piece of rope would be, but it's just um, a piece of tubing. It's hollow in the center, and it's made out of, it feels like the, the deco mesh. It is mesh tubing. It's, yeah, plastic mesh. And it just makes a nice little accent for your um, wreaths. 
And you can get um, a lot of these colors at the Dollar Tree. You can also get tubing from um, the craft stores. They all carry it as well. Some carry more colors than others, but like craft outlet and that. You can, I've never seen them um, at the local craft stores like Hobby Lobby and... Well, Hobby Lobby, I'll take that back. Hobby Lobby, I've seen it at um, like Patriotic. They do carry a Patriotic one. Just adds a little something to your wreath. Thank you all so much for joining me. Does your Joann's carry some? Yeah, ours doesn't have any. The only place I've ever been able to get it locally is, um, like I said, the one at um, the one at uh, Hobby Lobby when they have it uh, for the Patriotic, and then the rest of it I get at the um, the dollar store. And then you got to get them quickly at the dollar store when they put them out because they do go fast. But you can also order those by the case. You don't get to pick the colors. They send you a bunch of random ones. Yeah, ours is just starting to put it out. They haven't gotten a whole lot out yet. When I was in there the other day, um, the cashier was telling me that They've been told to get it all out because of this virus stuff. They just want all the holiday stuff out. Don't wait. Get it done. So that's what they've been working on. But the one right here by my house has not gotten a lot of it out yet. But I'm going to go check a couple of the other ones. Probably tomorrow while I'm out. I see a lot of new names tonight. Thank you all for joining me. I'm really excited to have you here. It means a lot to me. Thank you. And if y'all have any questions, just put them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. If I don't get them on here, I'll get them on the, after the live is over. Yeah, this green one actually came from Deco Exchange um, probably about two years ago. That's how long I've had it. Oops, I already did that one. But I just love these colors together. I like moss green anyway. Orange, I'm not a fan of by itself. Hey, Carla, I got a question. Do you have any of this ribbon in your shop? It's a natural color with a dark orange, almost a rust color, and then a light orange. I need, a, I need some of that. I'm running out, and I need some, and everybody is sold out. I don't know what you have in your shop. Welcome, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so happy you could stop in tonight. If you're new, my name is Dawn. This is Wreath Decor by Dawn.
And if you're new, tell me where you're from. I like to see where everybody's from. You have the natural one? Yeah, I have that one too. I started a project with this orange one and I'm not going to have enough to finish and I need to find another one. I'd like to get two, but I'll be happy with one. Thank you, Patty. I appreciate that. Okay, one more to go after this one. And we can put the sign on. Has the wire sticking out too. Get that down in there so it doesn't poke anyone. There we go. Texas, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, no, I got two more. I skipped one. I need that orange one that I just showed. Um, it's got the orange and the natural and the dark orange. Hang on, I'll show it to you again. All right, so I skipped one up here. That explains why there's one laying here on my desk. Ontario, Canada, welcome. And I'm not throwing those on the floor. I have a bucket over here that I put all my trash in. <laughs> I sure can. I'll recap the whole thing here in one second before I put the sign on. Putting that down there. And like I said, I go back and I'll do all my ribbons later. I'm not going to do them at the moment. I do them because the more I mess with it, the more they get messed up anyway. They don't stay where I put them to begin with. So once I get done, I'll finish that off like that and then they'll stay. Okay, so here's what we did. Hey, Rachel. And there is our fan club president, Mr. Nathan, our working man. My grandson, he is our fan club president. That's what we call him. Mr. President. Got another wire here, guys. All right, so what I did was I had a 21-inch um, mesh that I did 12-inch poofs for my base. If you can see that right here. Excuse me, it's a moss and orange. I got a little bit of heartburn there. Um, then I did 20-inch ruffles with the moss green. Hey, Kim. And then we filled in with a 10-inch ruffle with the um, orange, just one ruffle. I mean, sorry, curl, one curl. I don't know my ruffles from my curls tonight. And then I put on 14-inch ribbons. We have an orange, a, a um, solid orange, and a solid natural together. And then I have this natural with the pumpkins. It's got different shaped pumpkins on it. Lift that up. And then there's a solid moss. This moss came from Hobby Lobby. And then we added in some flex tubing, um, which one is a jute. The other is just a regular mesh tubing. And those were cut at 24 inches and put in there. Now we're going to put on the bow and the sign and then maybe some pumpkins. Susan, here's that ribbon again. If you can see it in the light, I'm not sure. Let me move it down a little bit maybe. It has the natural stripe, and then it has the dark or orange or a burnt orange, and then the regular orange on the side. I have a number for it, too, but nobody has it in stock. All right, so here's the wooden sign. I'll try and get that glare off of there for you. It just says welcome, and it has the pumpkins here. It's got this natural wood-looking background to it. And then I put my pipe cleaners on the back in the four corners. I leave the hanging rope on here in case someone wants to take it off. Um, you know, that would be killing me too, Rachel. 
I don't, I want, I keep saying I'm going to and I never, I don't do it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Anyway, if, um, you know, if they ever, the wreath ever got damaged or they decided they didn't want the wreath anymore, they could always take the sign off and hang it up. And I always put my sticker on the back. I'm going to put this sign up top and the bow will go here. So here's our bow for tonight. I have not finished, um, fluffing out the bow. Um, I was just finishing it up when I started my live, so I didn't get to finish it. But anyway, we'll do that real quick. Everything's tightened down. I just have to fluff it out. And then we have these little pumpkins that we're going to put on. There's two fabric pumpkins. Those came from the Christmas tree store, if you have one of those stores. And then this one is just a foam fabric covered um, pumpkin. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to um, get my little needle out. If you guys don't, if you all struggle with your signs or putting your attachments on, get some of these plastic needles and it will help you a lot. All right, so let me see where my top is going to be. I want somewhere where there is a crossbar on the back. That one is where I started, so I'm not using that one. So we'll start here. All right, so this is where my sign's gonna go. And then I'm just gonna take and put my pipe cleaner through there. And I'm gonna bring this down right through the mesh and everything. Hey, Brandon, there's my other grandson. I'm with you, Susan. I want Doritos too. And then I'm going to attach that to the frame and I'm just going to give it one little twist to hold it in place because I don't want the sign going anywhere. And then afterwards I will go back and tighten everything down. That way if I change my mind, I can always undo it real quick and move it. So if you want some of these needles, you can get them in uh, multiple places. I have them in my shop. You can get them from me. You get a pack of three of them for uh, $5. That's including shipping. And they are very popular. Thank you, Esther. All right. Get my fat fingers through those wire frames. And this way, too, if I happen to tighten it down too tight, I can quickly undo it. and um, loosen it up. So I just give it a quick loop around that frame. Yep, if you struggle with those signs or any attachments, get you some of these needles. I'm telling you, it makes it really quick and painless. Um, they, I used them all the time and they were very popular. Everybody wanted to know where to get them and I decided, what. I was just going to go ahead and offer them in my shop, make it easy for everybody. You don't even have to leave your house, they'll come right to your door. Oh, Cheetos, I love Cheetos too, that's the worst. Any kind of potato chips almost, almost any kind of potato chips. I'm a sucker for potato chips, always have been my whole life. Okay. Well, when you put these on, don't go right where there's a bunch of other pipe cleaners because it's not going to work. <laughs> yep, Reap the Core by Dawn. You can find my kits and my... Um, I also have some ribbon on my page. If anyone's interested in that, I have some ribbon for sale. Now, see this corner over here is down too far, so I'm going to give that a little... loosen you get a package of three needles for five dollars that's including shipping yeah, all right I so i got this moss green with the pretty polka dots on the back here get all these in place Give them a little twist here. 
All right. I think we got that. I did not dovetail yet. Let me just make sure that I pulled this tight enough that it will be secure. Yep, Nancy's got a, a set of them as well. I saw somebody struggling with the sign yesterday and I wanted so bad to say, go buy some of my, my needles, but I was on her live. I didn't want to do that. That would be rude to promote myself on her live. <laughs> Added in a little bit of that brown from the stem of the pumpkin. All right. Now on this one, I'm going to take both of these. Well, maybe not. No, nope. let's just do one at a time. Put my needle through there. Grab that pipe cleaner. And I'm going to go right down through my mesh. Do not put your um, pipe cleaners where your ribbons in that go where your tie is it'll tend to pull your bow down put your bow right in between your mesh or between your ties and it'll help hold your bow up nice and pretty so we'll go down here on this side go right through all that mesh and everything put that bow in place give it a little tug I think I went too far with that I do too I love that polka dot Yep, I went way too far on that one. All right, we'll move that over in a second. But for now, I'm just going to tack it down so y'all can see it. There we go. All right, let me dovetail these really quick and we'll be done. And I don't cut these at the same length. I just cut them randomly. When I make my bow, the, the um, tails are all different lengths as well. I used to measure them all out and make them all even. I don't mess with that anymore. And I like to curl my um, one and a half, so I leave those a little bit longer. So if y'all are new to my page, please give it a like and a follow. Come back again next week. We'll be here at 8, 8 p.m. Eastern. I would love to have you join me again. Share this with your friends. Maybe they'll come and join us as well. Make sure I got them all here. Did I miss any? Yep, missed one. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. All right. So take these one and a half, fluff out those loops, get that brown peeking out of there, see that? And then take your dowel, the same dowel I used for my curls and give these a little twist. You could curl them up tight, you can twist them like this. Just do the ends, give them a little curl. Yes, I do thank you all for joining me tonight. Welcome all the new newbies, new time uh, first timers. And again, be on the lookout this weekend or towards the weekend for that um, information on the giveaway because I will get that done now that I know where I'm going to get the... Um, the dowel is 12 inches long and 3 quarters of an inch thick. You can get them at Walmart in the craft section. You get a pack of three, and I don't remember how much they are. But they really help, especially if you have problems with your hands like I do. Um, it really helps. And to me, it makes the, the curls look a little neater. So that's why I like it. It takes a little more time, but you know what? It's worth it in the end if I'm not in pain after, you know, three or four curls. So, And here's the package of the needles. It comes in a little baggie like this for you to keep them in along with my card in case you need to order more. 
but you get a pack of three for five dollars. That's including shipping. And you can get those at wreakthecorebydawn.com. Y'all are leaving and I forgot about the pumpkins. Look at that. That's what I get for not paying attention to what I got over here. Let's see these two right here. Doggone it. Did that last week. I forgot something. Somebody sent me or commented when I was doing my snowman rail last week and said I forgot to put the Christmas ball in the center of the bow that I said I was going to do. I'm like, oh my God, I forgot all about that. <laughs> so I had to go back and put it in there. So I had to thank her for reminding me because I would have forgotten all about it. And then I would have had that big gap in the... <laughs> All right, so these little pumpkins, they have these little pipe cleaner stems. Just pull them out because they're scrunched down. Pull them out and give them a little, just a little curly cue. It's got that stem and then it's got the little thing here. I saw that, Kim. <laughs> you know, we can't remember everything. All right, so I'm just going to pull that stem up. That one's not as curled as the other one was, but that's all right. There we go. And these are fabric, so all I have to do is run my wire through there. And that's another thing those needles are good for. You can use the plastic ones or the metal ones um, to do that, but you can get your wires through your attachments really easy, too. So I'm going to use some 26 gauge wire. This is silver wire. Just get a little length here. Cut it off. Probably too much. I always overdo it with the wire. And we'll put these on. I'm going to put them together. A little grouping. Probably right here maybe. I was hoping I had three. But they only came in twos. I have different colors of them. But this one goes better all right so we've got the wire sorry guys y'all thought you were gonna get out of here didn't you thought you were gonna go well guess what but wait there's more <laughs> all right for this one i don't want the hole to be too big so i'm gonna use my little metal one i have a metal one as well this is the one i actually started with so I can take that needle, because this is foam, or um, fabric, I'm going to go right here where the seam is, because there's a thread there, and that's going to hold this from ripping. So I'm going to put that through, hopefully you can see that, and I'm just going to pull that wire through, hopefully. If it doesn't snag on the stuffing on the inside like it's doing, hang on, let me pull this tighter. There we go. Went right through. Now see, normally you would have to, if you didn't have these needles, you'd have to cut that little piece, of, you know, cut a little notch in there or something. All right, so I'm going to twist this off so it goes around that seam right there. And we're going to put this right yeah I want it right here thank you thank you thank you thank you I appreciate that okay this is gonna go right down here through this mesh You know what? I don't want it there. I'm gonna I want the pumpkin where it's going, but I don't want the the wire there. Because it's not going to it's gonna make it like well, it might work. I can always move it later. How about that? We'll just leave it and I'll move it later if I don't like it. I was hoping it would sit on the mesh better. 
Let me get my fingers through here. Sometimes the rings are kind of tight together or close together, so my fingers don't go through. There we go, as easily. All right, so I'm just gonna loop that around one time to hold it in place. Oh, I don't want it to hide the behind the bow either, let me see. Let me see. I really wanted to do them together, but. Maybe do one up top. We'll do it up top. This live will be up on YouTube. Um, I do it, um, usually I put them up on Friday. I'm gonna curl this one. I'm gonna take this little chopstick and I'm gonna wrap this around here because the way they curled it, I don't like. I'm gonna curl it myself. There we go. There we go, that's better. Much better. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. All right, get this wire on here. And I did the same thing with this one. I put that wire in the same doggone place. But the nice thing about these being fabric is you can take this wire out. It doesn't do any damage to it. You'll never see the hole in it from the wire. And using silver wire, you're not going to see that wire in your wreath either. I had to put my glasses on because I couldn't see the wire. All right, we're going to put this one in here. I was hoping to put them together, but we'll just put it up here. I think you, I think, you know what, I think if you think it's going to look stunning, then I say do it. Take a picture of it and see how you like it. Usually that's the best way to tell is when you do a, take a picture of it and look at it that way. I'll change that one too because I don't like where I put that wire. I say do it. There we go guys. There's those pumpkins. Hello, if you haven't seen me before, my name is Dawn. This is Reef Decor by Dawn. Here we go, guys. Let me go this way. Whoops. You got a glare, don't you? Oh, look at that bow. And the pumpkins. There we go. That's going to be pretty. All right, guys, I really do appreciate y'all being here. Come back next week and join me again, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern time if you're new. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome. Um, as always, guys, have a great night. Enjoy your weekend and be safe.